Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'll let you give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash, and double on stairs, great mills, and my let his truth. And also to the whole let that's scattered abroad, I like to say, Shalom. And come back here today with another great powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of today's lesson is Time is Short. So I like to say, Shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the paths of righteousness and back to your true power. Which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Time is short. We seeing that we are in this transition power. We seeing that the birth pain. We seeing that flooding throughout the entire world. We seeing all sorts of uh, the disasters, all sorts of what calamities. You know, all sorts of what catastrophes are upon us. And that about you know the evils are growing. And that about it, you know time is short. Every time when you look around, you seeing that something is coming. It's constantly popping off. You know what I'm saying? People are dying in what great numbers over in Pakistan and also in Jackson, Mississippi, in my own backyard, you know what I'm saying, where they have to evacuate uh, 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 Jackson. Now, a lot of people don't know where they're going to lay their head, and a lot of things are getting ready to intensify, you know, just like we said, you know, food shortage, you know what I'm saying, starvation is coming back in a big way. So these what? These uh, birth pains are constantly growing like a woman travailing with child, and that about that, you know, that delivery is coming. What is that delivery in that great day? You know, the kingdom of heaven, also the great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai is right what upon us. And out about it that, hey, we are here. And out about it is that uh time is short. And out about it, a lot of people are not considering. We're seeing that you know everything is lining up like clockwork. We're seeing that these Bible prophets are jumping out the pages left and right. And out about it that, you know, out of you were here, or out of you will forbear. And out about it, we are here. We are living in real time. And also the kingdom of heaven it is at hand. And out about it, the great and glorious return of our Lord and Savior, and our great deliverer. He's right at hand also, you know what I'm saying? Which in fact is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He's getting ready to return. And out about it, whoo, we cannot wait. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is time is short. So we get started, just a quick lesson through the spirit. We get started in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21. And it reads, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world for this time, nor, nor ever shall be. Verse 22, and except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. So we knowing that the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And out about it, we knowing that he's getting ready to come with all his, his what? Pseudoscience, you know what I'm saying? His AI, you know what I'm saying? His transhumanism, you know, trying to mash a uh, mad mass machine with 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 uh with, with man and out about it but he will not be able to perform his enterprise and out about it, the lord will return and out about it if the lord do not return will be no flesh saved alive but the lord said hey he he he's coming back he is faithful and true and out about that you know we can, we don't have anything to worry about we seeing that these birth pains are constantly growing you know boom, boom. so the woman you know right now she's in the ninth month and out about it you know that baby is getting ready to come and what is that the kingdom of heaven Esau is the end of this earth age, and Jacob is the beginning of it as follow, that follows. You know what I'm saying? Which, in fact, is the kingdom of heaven, the world without end, the, the world that what dwells with righteousness. And that about it, we are very close. And that about it, these birth pains are, are constantly intensifying. You're seeing it all across the world. You uproars of the people. You know, it's a civil unrest. You know, everywhere, every time you look around, it's something going on. And that about it, you know, it's a, I mean, just pop it off. And that about it, Lord, it's what? Accelerating time, speeding up time. You know, he said that those days shall be short. So time is short. And that about every time you look around, boom, you could be here four o'clock. Next thing you know, it's one o'clock at night. And that about it, just, just like that. And that about it, but the Lord is doing a mighty work and we cannot wait. So rejoice ye heaven. So now let's go to Jeremiah chapter, uh, just a quick lesson. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 30. One moment. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 30. And we'll start at verse 6. And it reads, it said, Say, ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Uh, wherefore, do I see every man with his hands and his lawn, on his lawns as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned unto paleness. Verse 7, At last, for that day is great, so, is, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. And I'd about it, that is the elect. And I'd about it, we're coming upon that time. You know, they're already telling you about this digital society, this new world order, this global reset. So things are getting ready to intensify. The birth pain is getting ready to get 
uh, uh, harder and harder. And everybody, evil is going to constantly uh, grow and grow. And everybody, that we are here, and evil day is right upon us. And everybody, every time when you turn the TV, something is going on left and right. Rumors of wars, you know what I'm saying? And everybody telling you about uh, 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 that, 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 you know, that, uh, 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 the love of men is this constant waxing cold also. And also, we seeing that, you know, a lot of people going to be faint hard when this time come. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I seen a little clip today about, they were telling about uh, 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 EBD and, uh, and SNAP uh, 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 purchase. You know, they, they won't be able to purchase anything, which in fact is food stamps. And that's about, so Eve is getting ready to feel the grip also. So, the, you know what I'm saying? So, that time of trouble is coming. Also, a man would be more pressed than, what, than fine gold. And I had about it. So, I had about a lot of these women going around here saying that, hey, you know, I don't need a man or whatever like that. You seeing what Esau eat him, the so called white man, the devil, he's cutting off your food stuff. After a while, he's going to cut off what that, uh, what they call that section eight. So a lot of people, you know, a, a lot of women's gonna be in, in great despair. You know, it's that faint or vexation of spirit. And out of the body, in that day, you know, everyone gonna is, is, is going going uh, the arrogance of the proud is going to cease. Time is short. It's time to get in order and come back to come back under that total subjection to who to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And out of the time is short. So when Jacob's trouble hit. It was going to be a time that we have never seen before. So that supernatural intervention got to come into play. Even though we are signing like a broken rep, but these are the times that we're living in. We're being repetition. And I about you will be what? Well worn. And I about you know what I'm saying? We must redeem the time wise. We must what? Walk circumspect. And I about we're here. And I about it's time, you know what I'm saying? Come under that total subjection. Walk in the path of righteousness. And I about wisdom and knowledge shall what? Be the stability of the time. You know, this understanding, this gospel, you know what I'm saying? And I about we gotta hold fast what we have, you know what I'm saying? Endure. You know what I'm saying? And I about the same that endure, the same shall be saved. And I about because what? Time is short. We got to hold on what we have. And I about it, you know, we in these we in these troubling times, and I about through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So you seeing all these catastrophes and calamities are going on all across the world. And I about that whoop, don't burst pain a kick it. That transition of power is coming in here. And I about and the Lord is moving the chest pieces around. Woo, we cannot wait. So now let's go to uh one moment. Let's drop down to uh uh, uh let's go back to Matthew chapter 24. Something else I want to get out of. Matthew chapter 24, one moment. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. One moment. One moment. Just a quick lesson. Uh Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. One moment. And it reads, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Uh, verse 38. For as, as in the days uh, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered unto the ark. Uh, verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be. So we seeing all these floods that's going on, but that about we knowing that this place is going to be destroyed with, with that fervent heat, the indignation of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Back in Noah time, Noah constantly warned them, you know, over and over. And that about it was what? Constantly scoffing and mock, but time was short. So time had ran out and also, you know, that flood came and they all was what? Taken away, they perish. And I about just of the days of old as of right now. And I about there is nothing new under the sun. And I about time is short. It's time to stop playing game. It's time to stop scoffing and mock. It's time to stop being an unbeliever and come under that what? Total subjection to Yahweh. By Shim Yahweh Shah. Put your total trust in Yahweh. By Shim Yahweh Shah. Because he is the only way and the only house. And I about time is short. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes. Please ask these chapter nine, one moment. Please ask these chapter nine, one moment. Please ask these chapter nine and verse 11. Please ask these chapter nine and verse 11. And it reads, I returned and saw, one moment. I returned and saw under the sun uh, that the race is not uh, to the swift, nor, to, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wide, uh, nor yet riches uh, to men, uh, of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. And that about it, you know, it's not how we 
uh, 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 start is how we finish. And that's about because what time is short. You know what I'm saying? It's not too the swift. It's not to, uh, you can do whatever you know a lot of you can do a lot of lesson, but that's about you still got to what complete the mission. And that's about it. It's how we finish. So we what must endure, persevere. Uh, everyone gonna get caught up in what time and chance. We only here just for a moment. Cause what time is short. And that's about it. You know, flesh and blood. Flesh and blood shall not what enter the kingdom of heaven. So all this is getting ready to what pass away. And out about it, we must be on the same uh, mindset of what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He's the only way and the only house. And out about it, you know, he is the way. And out about it, hey, if, you, if if the Lord is not dealing with you, you will be totally destroyed. So now let's start back up. Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse uh, uh, twelve. For for man also knoweth not his time, as as fishes that are taken in a even net and as the birds that are caught in the snare so are the the uh, sons of men snared in a evil time where it uh, uh falleth suddenly upon them and that's about it's about to fall suddenly upon you and that's about what what, what are those there this digital society this new world order you know what i'm saying this uh unrighteous decree uh tartarian law all of these are snares and that's about the uh, the, 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 the so-called white man he's getting ready to what to lose to get ready to use that sword. And I'd about it, you know, we constantly warn you left and right. The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And I'd about it, you don't want to be caught up in none of those snares and stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to line up like what? Like clockwork and take the hokey pokey. And also they have a new uh, a hokey pokey out with his fact is the hokey pokey pill. And I'd about it, you know, so, you know, he's, he's coming with all these different lying wonders to entice you. You know what I'm saying? And I about it, you know, to have what? Total control. So that is a snare and a trap. And I'd about it, you know, December the 13th is another, a snare in a trap. So time is short. And I about it, you know, it's time for you to make a decision. And I about it, a lot of people already is already in the house of what? Myrrh. Constantly having a great old time, drinking in mirror as of the days are old. And I about it, you're going to be destroyed. And I about it, we cuss warning left and right. We are here. Time is short. We are running out of time. And Lord is what? Accelerating, accelerating time. Because that about it, the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is almost here. Woo, we cannot wait. So we seeing things are constantly picking up the birth pain. And I about it, we at that final uh, uh climax. And I about it, it, hey, the Lord getting ready to bring it. That judgment is what at hand. So now let's go to uh one moment. Let's go to Ephesians chapter uh five. Ephesians chapter five, one moment. Ephesians chapter five, one moment. It's a new new testament. Uh Ephesians chapter five. And verse uh, 15, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse uh, 15. And it reads, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as food, but as wise. And that's about know your surrounding, know what time it is, what time we're living in. You know, know what's going on. Be around what? Like mind, like mind, minded people. You know what I'm saying? Which in fact is in this what? In the house of David. You know what I'm saying? In this great wisdom and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Stay, stay on fire. You know what I'm saying? Also, you know, constantly at what? Walk uh, uh, in the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Constantly walk in the spirit each and every day. Constantly meditate and keeping your eyes on the pride. And we living in what's in some evil time. Know your surrounding. Know who you are dealing with. And I and I did about examine yourself. And I did about you know constantly. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord to have mercy upon you in these times of trouble. You know what I'm saying? And I did about build your faith, strengthen yourself. Cause that did about we coming upon that time like a woman travailing with a child. Jacob's trouble is right upon us. And that's about the middle of the Lord. We constantly sign and crying left and right. Time is short. So time is what? It's getting ready to be. Who come to the, come to the, client, the final uh, 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 conflict? You know what I'm saying? It's it. It's coming to a head. The fullness of time is almost here. And what? Our salvation is very close. Then we yet believe. So now let's start back up. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. Redeeming the time wisely because the days are evil. Uh, the days are evil right now. And they're constantly what intensify and out about that evil time is what Jacob's trouble a time that we have never seen before so that supernatural intervention is getting ready to come into play so when the enemy come in like a flood the Lord is going to what lift up that stunt and he knowing that time is running out and also Esau even the so-called white the devil that the Bible speaks he knowing that his time is short so that about he's getting ready to come unleash hell on earth and out about it walk circumspectly know what time it is also your surroundings and out about it, and stay on fire for your house by Hashem, your house shot. So now, uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and uh, verse 17. 
Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is. And I, we know what the will of the Lord is. And I, we doing the will each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Because we knowing that the time is short. And I, about, hey, we are here. So now, let's go to one moment. Let's go here to uh, uh, one moment. Let's go to, uh, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Colossians chapter 4 and verse 5. Colossians chapter 4 and, and verse 5. One moment. Let's get a quick precept. Uh, Colossians chapter 4 and verse 5. And it said, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time wise. And I had about, you know, same thing that I just said, you know, walk with wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge should what? Be the stability of the time. We must walk in wisdom, one that is without. Those are the two that scoff and mock. Constantly despise, don't know what time it is. And I about we 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 must what constantly be wise. Because that about it's only for what? A, 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 a certain number. And that about the election has attained it and the rest was blind. And I about it, you know what I'm saying? So walk with wisdom each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So now let's go to uh, uh Job chapter eight, another quick precept. Job chapter eight, one moment. Job chapter eight and verse, I think it's verse four. If I'm not mistaken. Job chapter 8 and verse, let's see, verse 9. Job chapter 8 and verse 9. One moment. I think this is what I want right here. And it really said, For, for we are but, but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon the earth are a shadow. So you hear the day and you're gone tomorrow. Time is short. And I did better than you don't. Know, so you know what I'm saying? We must. Uh, 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 try to do the best of our ability to try to uh, uh, perform the what the righteous act, even though we're in the uh, in this flesh is weak, but the what the spirit is 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 is, is, is willing. And I about it, you know, it's stronger. And I about it, you know, we constantly meditate day and night. We constantly hasten the great and glory return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And I about asking Lord, how long will Lord? We seeing that the birth pains are all around. We're excited. We're living in some exciting time. We know that the Lord is what doing a mighty work. Woo! The Lord is getting ready to return. And I about it, we're getting ready to get back in what? In our first estate, immortality, rulership, spiritual power. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. See, let's go to uh, Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. Another quick precept before we close out. Uh, Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. And it reads, Make no terror to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security... Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And I about we read upon that time. Make no terror, cause what time is short. Stop putting off from day to day. And I about all oh, I do it tomorrow. Or oh, I, I, you know what I'm saying? To see, start reading the Bible, or trying to learn out who I am or what the Lord's got for me. Hey, it's too late. Time is running out. And I about it. It's time to seek the Lord. Make no terror to turn to the Lord. A lot of people what in their comfort zone. A lot of people still are relaxing in their leaves. And I about thinking that they're what a good case. And I about eating and drinking and being married and out of traveling you know have money right now but on December the 13th all hell would break loose no more working you know what I'm saying no more money and no more what in the house of mirth and out about you will be in the house of mourning and out about that everyone be will be on a on a level playing field and out about did this get this is getting ready to be a what a third world country and out about it we cuss and warn you left right overnight just like that. And I'd about you'll be seeking for food, seeking for shelter. And I'd about it, you know what I'm saying? But if the Lord is not dealing with you, you're going to crumble like a cookie and you will be destroyed. And I'd about it, make no terror to turn to the Lord. Put not off from day to day in thy security right now. And grace and mercy is here. And I'd about it, it's time to seek the Lord why he can't be found. Because what? We are running out of time. And I'd about it, time is short. So now, let's, uh, let's go to... Uh, might get one more quick precept before we close out. Let's go to uh see what I want to go to now. Uh let's go here and then we'll close out. Let's go to uh Hebrews chapter 10. Let's go here and we'll close out. We get one more, we'll close out. Just a quick lesson through the spirit, and I hope that you get edified. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, and I think it's around verse 34. No, verse 36. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse. 36 and it read for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the almighty ye might receive the promise verse 37 for yet a little while and and he that shall come will come 
and will not tear. And not about the Lord is getting ready to return. And not about he's not tear. You know, so though it tears, wait for it. It shall surely come. It is speaking loud and clear. We see in all of the signs of the times. We see that the birth pain are constantly what intensify. And not about that, you know, the woman travailing with woman with child. And not about getting ready to what? To deliver. And what is that? The kingdom of heaven. And not about we cannot wait. And, and also the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And not about that, you know, even though we're being patient, hoping. You know what I'm saying? We are suffering. Not about, but the Lord is what? Constantly perfecting us. And not about it. We're building our faith. And not about it. Who? The Lord is getting ready to uplift the will. We're rising. You know what I'm saying? And who? We cannot wait. The Lord is doing a mighty work. So let's go to our last and final script. We'll close out here. Let's go to James. James chapter 4. We'll close out here. It's a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, James. Uh, one moment. James. Come on now. Where is James here? James. James chapter 4, and we'll start, let's see what one want to start up at one moment. Start, we'll start at verse 13. James chapter 4 and verse 13, we'll close out. Uh, Go now ye that say, uh, tomorrow or, uh, so like, let's start back up. Uh, James chapter 4 and verse 13, it said, go to now ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go unto uh, such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get grain. Verse 14, whereas ye know not what what shall uh, be on, uh, on uh, tomorrow, for, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a, a little time and then vanish away. Verse uh, 15, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord's will, we shall live and do this or that. Let's read that again. James chapter 4 and verse 15. Let's read. Let's, let's start back with uh, verse 13. James chapter 4 and verse 13. It said, go to now. Ye that say uh, uh, today or tomorrow, we will go unto such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get grain. Verse uh, 14. Whereas ye know uh, not what shall be on tomorrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanish away. Verse 15, for, for, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord's will, we shall live and do this or that. And that about, if it's the Lord will, and that about, we knowing that the time is short. And that about, it's time to seek the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It's time to watch, pray, and be sold. And that about, a lot of people are buying and selling, going, going on with their daily life. And that about, not seeing the, what the Lord's will. The Lord can take you at any given time. And that about, your life is, you know what I'm saying? It's in the hands of what? Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We seeing all of the signs of the times are here. We were marrying the time of what? Di uh, diligently in itself. And that about, we seeing that the great day of the Lord is fast approaching. We seeing that you are full sight are all across the world. We seeing that uh, conflicts are going throughout the entire world, just like the Bible said. And I about it, you know, we are here. And I about it, it's time to seek the Lord because what? Time is short. So I like to give all praises and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom.